I'm Anna French, and I live and work full-time in Casper, a custom converted Ford Transit camper van. You can find me on Instagram at SpinTheGlobeProject or on my website and blog, SpinTheGlobeProject.com. I have been traveling around the U.S. for about a year, building an online business and figuring out how to make money as I go. Today I just want to talk about how I make money on the road since that's one of the most common questions I get asked when people find out that I live in a van. So basically there are five different ways that I make money. That's mostly just because I started experimenting with multiple different methods of um, earning a remote income and just to have as many income streams as possible in case one isn't doing as well as the other then I always have sort of enough of an income each month to pay my monthly bills. Anyway, the five ways that I make money on the road, I'll tell them in order of how much of my income, what percentage of my income comes from each of these methods. So I think my top income stream is actually YouTube ads, and so I'm a partner with YouTube. I qualified to be a partner with YouTube around May 2018. It fluctuates a lot how much money I'm making each month. It depends on how many videos I put out and how many views, what kind of engagement they get. YouTube doesn't really share their algorithm even with their partners so that's kind of an unreliable income stream but I usually get at least a couple hundred dollars a month from that and that's without putting in a ton of effort into um, creating a lot of content. So maybe I'll make one video a month. I also went about six months without making videos and was still making income from some old videos. So that's one of my biggest income streams is YouTube videos um, by Google AdSense who places the ads in the videos. And then I also uh, make money through affiliate marketing. This was actually the first way I started making money. So affiliate marketing is basically just a partnership with a brand. There's certain large companies like Amazon that doesn't require anything of their their partners so you don't need to have a certain amount of followers or anything on your social media. You can basically start a blog tomorrow or um, decide you want to affiliate market through your social media channels and you can partner with Amazon. You just go apply to the Amazon affiliate program and then basically they give you um, tracking links. If someone clicks one of your links it tracks for up to 30 days. And then any purchase that that person makes um, within 30 days, even if it was the link that they clicked on and that product or something different on Amazon, whoever the affiliate is gets a commission. So I place those links all over my website, on my YouTube um, video descriptions, and um, sometimes they even advertise them through like my other social media platforms. So that's my second income stream. I also make money through sponsorships and partnerships beyond like YouTube and the affiliate program. So for example, today's sponsor for this video is Skillshare. I would pr be promoting Skillshare whether they sponsor this video or not. They're a really awesome platform for learning new skills from experts. So Skillshare is really great for just being able to learn tips and tricks for photography or videography or social media marketing, whatever it is that you want to get better at. Skillshare has such a big variety of workshops and video courses that you can take. It's really helpful to have a tutorial on how to do these things that took me like a year to learn. So one of my favorite teachers on Skillshare is Ryan Booth and I really liked his course Do-It-Yourself Cinematography. It goes through the philosophy and the history of cinematography and it gives you the skills and tools you need to make your own videos look more cinematic. And I'm really excited that Skillshare is giving a free two-month unlimited access trial to my subscribers who click the link in the description of this video. After that, it's only around $10 a month, so go check it out and get full access to 26,000 classes taught by creators from around the world. The other way I make money is through Patreon, and Patreon is basically a crowdfunding um, network where your followers and supporters can support you directly. So. Basically, they pledge like anywhere from a dollar to as much as they want a month, um, and they just support you. And you can incentivize them by offering them different things depending on how much they're pledging. So, for example, I'll send postcards to my pledges that um, pledge more than like three dollars a month. The final way that I make money is just through freelance work. So by doing like one-off jobs or a long-term contract. My most long-term contract right now has been with 
um, an eco-friendly lotion brand and I've been working with them for almost a year now. I do all their social media content creation. That actually began as a, a sponsorship and then it turned into a more long-term sustainable partnership. So that's kind of the value in only accepting sponsorships and partnerships that are really aligned with you because then it comes off very natural when you promote them. Basically, these are just all like a different variety of ways that you can make remote income. And it's not something you're gonna just be making enough money to live right away. It took me a long time to not only like build a following, but build the skills and the confidence I needed to do this. There was a big period where I really just wasn't making enough money and I was living off of savings. But something I found really helpful during that period that I always like to tell people about as that's an option is that I woofed. And woof is basically an organic work exchange for volunteers to go work on an organic farm. And it was a really great way for me to sort of stay put in one spot so that I didn't have a lot of expenses because then I wasn't paying for gas or groceries because your food is provided and everything like that, showers, things like that. I was able to plug in, hook up my water on the farms that I've worked at. It sort of allows you this, this time and space to not only learn new skills, but also save money in the process. And that would be a great time to use something like Skillshare to teach yourself the skills you need to make a real income online if that's what you want to do too. I also want to mention that my blog, um, spintheglobeproject.com, which is a travel blog, um, among other things. It's also my shop. It's where I sell like eco-friendly um, postcards and other photo gifts from photos I've taken al along my travels. My blog was really the foundation for building my online business. It's the part, the place where I started, but I quickly realized uh, it was really difficult to make enough money just through like affiliate marketing on my blog um, with getting just organic traffic. I guess the moral of the story is I can't say what's going to work for you, what works for the next person, but what's worked for me is really diversifying the methods that I earn an income from, just in case there's one month where I'm not earning as much from YouTube, for example, then at least I have my blog or my freelance clients, or I'll go out in search of some sponsorships if I'm really low on funds. So I'm going to hone in on authenticity with brands and partnerships because I think the most important thing that you're doing when you sort of build an online business around yourself as a brand is just being authentic and staying true to yourself with every sort of business decision you make because brands that you want to partner with too are also looking at your engagement and your engagement is only going to be high if your followers are actually invested in who you are and what you have to offer them. Um, so whether that's your knowledge or your entertainment or inspiration, whatever that is, just be you, be authentic. And I guess that's my advice to anyone who's looking to earn a remote income through making themselves a brand and sharing their, their life or their journey or whatever their niche is on social media. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, could you please just click that thumbs up button and click subscribe? Uh, down below and just keep an eye out click the notification bell as well so you can get notified when I make new videos because it is a little sporadic um, and yeah hopefully I'll I'll see you on the road somewhere <music>